I'm back with another video and today I'm working on the um, pretty kitty or colorful kitty that's a paint by number and I've actually been working on this for about a week now not fully you know the week but several hours um, since I started it a week ago it is really slow going because it is such fine detail as you can see and this is about what I have completed so far it's not much actually it looks like it's not much but it took me 10 hours it's 10 hours worth of work right here for what I've done um, as you can see it's very fine work and I actually have to use a magnifying glass and when you use a magnifying glass you can see that it um, it brings it in for you quite well and you think you're working on a huge amount and when you take it away it's like a dot of work so that's how fine this particular uh, paint by number is to work on now things that I've noticed about this this um, this painting is that um, it's hard to use the flat larger brush in many of the areas so far I will probably use it in areas like this one here which is bigger and also over here on the sides because it's all open and this will come in handy and um, but so far these are the brushes that I'm using and you can see that one is a little thicker than the other. This here is for more fine stuff and this one here is for pretty much these lines that you see that I've been working on and these are kind of for the dots. Um, <clears throat> something about the brushes is that sometimes um, the bristle will work itself up and out it might actually not come right out um, so I, w I wouldn't actually pull it out what I would do is you just nip it off um, because having a long just one long strand it really messes up how you try to paint it won't work for you the paint with this kit is very thick it's kind of like you would think it would be a very creamy icing that you're working with and um, it's very nice to apply I don't have a problem with that I do however in some of them like this number one it's a light pink and it seems to dry very quickly so what I've had to do is actually while I'm working I have to wet my brush and you know go and load the paintbrush and then work with it and that seems to be helping also if it dries it'll dry up in here you just clean the brush off and um, begin working again because um, not all of them but it seems like certain of these paints they dry quicker than others um, and then also you know you're doing such fine work and it's so it's a lot really and you don't realize how long you're taking to do this fine detail that you know minutes are going by and you will dry out because this is um, an acrylic based paint and it's not oil so those are some of the things that I found uh, let's see what else um, now about loading your brush I have a suggestion about loading the brush and um, basically what you do is let me find a number I can work on and I'll show what I mean Okay, let me do number eight. Now, of course, with these, 
usually I shake them you know to get them a little uh, uh, mixed and then actually mix them and a lot of times I use the back end of it and I would mix them but these paints are very thick I haven't actually noticed anything that you know stirring is you know they haven't separated or anything now what you should do and a lot of us we don't you should take your paints away from your canvas to open it up because it could splat out and then of course you know we all um, should put them over here off of your canvas but I actually work right like this <laughs> close by and um, but it's not really what you should do but this is very thick paint and I know it's not going to drip so I can leave it right here for this one now about loading the brush this is what you do if you're a beginner maybe you don't really realize but you don't need to load your brush up all the way up to the rim here you kinda go halfway halfway of the bristles you load your paint in there and you're good that's all you need and with this I actually do need to use a magnifying glass because I can't see the work it's that difficult um, and then you just go in and apply the paint this uh, particular kind I find is really 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 I'm not going to say difficult because it's not difficult at all you do need a steady hand and if it was your first God bless you because wow it takes a lot of patience to work with it um, it's a lot of fine work fine detail and I, I'm going to be truthful if I wasn't working on this because I wanted to finish it to uh, compare it with the diamond painting that I received as well to compare the two I would probably have given up on it or I would just be working on it whenever but I will work on it to get it completed and it will go faster just doing like sporadically all over the place it's going slower that's how I find it to be and um, if I were to work straight from here and just keep filling it in it just goes faster however you would have to keep cleaning your brushes that's one of the things that you would need to do if you keep working from the base over and as I fill in more um, I'm noticing there's more numbers that are alike as I am going out so it will work that way but in the beginning I kinda like to stick with one number and do as much as I can and then start with the changing of colors and it's not that hard to change colors because it's merely a fact of opening opening the lid and just cleaning the brush out so it's very simple it's not like you have to run down the hall it's all right there and this kit it does come with the paint brushes the canvas and the paints but you will need to use your own cleaning um, cup for the water and what I use is actually a it had cocoa in it so I use this here and I just took the wrapper off of it and you fill it up halfway with water you rinse 
tap it off and you clean it in a paper towel or tissue and that's it they come clean very quickly and also when you're closing your paint take it off the canvas because believe it or not you can get that excess paint that's up in the cap around the ridges and it could splat all over your canvas and that's something you don't want to do so right here is where I worked on it and you can barely see what I have accomplished and that's what I'm talking about in such fine detail um, if this is your first particular um, paint by number maybe it would be the best thing because um, it would everything else you would do after that would seem simple and easy I don't know let me see what are the other things that I thought about this um, this one I did cover that if you feel like your paint is getting too dry you just dip your brush in the water and that takes care of that or you clean your brush um, you don't need to load your paintbrush fully because it's kind of a waste of the paint unless you're actually doing a big area where if your paint was loaded right up to here you would use these flat strokes and therefore your paint would come all off onto the canvas otherwise you only need to do it halfway and you're saving your paint um, Um, like I said, the paint seems to spread nice and easy, so there's no problem with that, even though it's very thick paint. It's not like your, um, it's a, it, this is a good quality paint by number set. It really is. And so I think that is all that I wanted to cover with this. Um, and I will do another update maybe I will do it when it's finished so I'll need a couple of weeks before it will be done and um, then I will show what it looks like and after that I do like I said I have the diamond painting that is this exact picture and once I have that completed I want to do a side-by-side -side to show what they look like, whether you decided to do painting or you decided to do paint, uh, diamond painting. Okay, so that's it for this particular video. We'll catch you in the next one.